and start. Welcome. We would like to thank you for attending our presentation of Microsoft Teams Modernized Communications Workshop today. A few notes before we start. Your camera will not be in use and your microphone will be muted throughout the presentation. You have meeting controls available at your fingertips to customize each user experience such as full screen and video resolution for a clearer image this session is automatically being recorded so please be mindful that your questions and comments in the qa portion will be visible to others once they are reviewed and published please post your questions in the qa section so they can be addressed in others can get benefits from the answers. High performance systems is a wise leading information technology solutions provider with over 30 years of experience. Being a Microsoft solutions partner has provided us many unique opportunities in supporting the local community with their community computer needs. Today we have Ashley Doy and myself, Ed Rainey, serving as moderators. Our special presenter today will be David Gonzalez. David will be covering how modern converged communications support all types of work environments, how Microsoft Teams phones provide a flexible, secure, and seamless call environment within the modern workforce. He will also be providing a live demo on the calling features and team certified physical phone solutions. I'll now turn the presentation over to David. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Ed. So let me just share my screen real quick and let me know when okay, you Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing. Perfect. All right, so do you see my deck now? Yes, I do. All right, perfect. So welcome, everyone. Um, as you are aware, many of businesses post pandemic are adjusting to the new normal work environments. That's hybrid and remote work. Uh, this presents a challenge to many businesses who built and designed their telephony solutions around the premise that their users will be in an office using a dedicated network and PC or physical phone. Teams provides an excellent solution that is user friendly and allows IT to provision and manage similar to what they have today, plus go above and beyond, giving it, give it the scale uh, of a cloud based solution provider. This slide talks about three key pillars. Uh, first, remote employees need an ex inclusive experience no matter where they are working from, from or what device. Second, how many uh, how employees communicate is evolving and how how they do that versus the experience they had in the in the office. And third, customers have to provide the capabilities to their user needs in a cost effective manner. The fact is, today's worker want the best of both worlds. 70% of workers want remote work options to continue, yet 65% also want more in-person time with their teams, according to a recent Work Trend Index report. While these data points seem at odds, it, it's clear what everyone wants, flexibility. We expect flexibility not only in where we work, but also in how and when we work. We thrive in hybrid work when we can easily connect, collaborate, and stay in the flow of work with full context. Microsoft Teams is a new front end, a flexible digital workspace that brings together people in their data, apps, and features all in one place so everyone can achieve more together. As you're aware, Teams has really enabled remote work during pandemic. Any way you look at the Anyway, you look at the meteoric growth of Microsoft Teams, you know that we are onto something that customers depend on. The scale that we have reached 
and and the growth across the workloads have has has been simply unprecedented. And now over 145 million daily users depend on Microsoft Teams, representing over 190% year over year growth and over a thousand percent if you go back to pre pandemic. Microsoft Teams truly enables communication and improves productivity. In December 2020, when organizations were adapting to the change pandemic has brought, it was reported that Microsoft Teams users were making over 650 million calls. This number is up by 11 fold over March of the prior year. That number has now passed, surpassed the 1 billion mark today continuing the strong demand for voice capabilities on collaboration platforms such as Microsoft Teams. The ability to scale and provide a reliable and robust experience is unquestionable now. As people work all day in Teams, they all get the full depth of Microsoft 365, packed with features and integration within a single platform for collaboration. So why Teams, right? So why Teams and why why Teams Phone? Teams Phone is a secure modern communication solution for your customers. It will increase end user productivity and decrease training time with one app that integrates calling into the flow of work. Business needs are met with the traditional calling features we all expect in a phone system, such as voicemail, speed dial, and call forwarding. Features like collaborative calling, which gives teams who are working together uh, to service customers. Think of IT or help HR help desk, a shared call queue in the team's channel, or using the desktop calling experience in the team's app. An overhauled calling experience, simplified user interface, and a streamlined setup and management are some of the key benefits that one can enjoy when switching to Teams phone solution. Lastly, we have all seen the shifts in device, device needs over the past year, from earbuds, headsets, to speaker pucks, to traditional phones and modern Teams display. There are devices for various work styles and budgets. Companies can reduce hard costs and travel and then entertainment budgets with Teams Phone, whose security and collaboration capabilities help enable a highly mobile workforce. Consolidating to a single vendor can cost much less than choosing different vendors for multiple capabilities. Teams Phone includes many of the capabilities for which you are likely already currently paying other vendors. Teams Phone provides us with an opportunity to replace Reduce or eliminate your previous plain old telephone service, voice over IP, PBXs, and other hosted integrated voice providers. Employees save time from telephony being integrated into the Microsoft Teams collaboration platform. Available on any device whose simplicity both enables a highly mobile workforce and increases employee satisfaction, potentially leading to a better business, uh, business outcomes. Now to put this into real numbers, Microsoft used this research as a basis to determine potential savings for a customer with 20,000 licenses of Teams phone. Cost savings can vary uh, based upon the customer size, deployment schedule, cloud adoption maturity, and software landscape, device footprint, etc. These numbers are designed to provide you with a general idea of the potential savings a company could achieve. And the numbers do tell the story with three hours saved per week, uh, $780 average reduction in office space spent per user per month, and a staggering 411% return on investment over six months. So let's take a look at Teams phone. Microsoft Teams phone is a flexible cloud-based calling platform that seamlessly integrates all your employee devices, including your desk, uh, and video phone, mobile phone, computer, and modern team display. The streamlined view in Teams shows contacts, voicemail, and calling history together for a single click calling. There's a dial pad to call landing or mobile numbers, along with a dedicated phone number to receive those calls. People can do the same from Teams app or on 
app on their mobile phone and even move seamlessly from desktop to mobile mid call. If they'd rather, uh, they could still use their office phone or connect via Microsoft Teams room device. And because because Teams phone is fully integrated with Office 365, you can, you can also call directly from many Office applications. I'd also like to mention that Teams offers noise suppression technologies now, so that if someone is making a call and there's background noise, that would be minimized for a better calling experience. So to take things on a higher level, traditionally you would need to install the Teams app on your on a smartphone to accept calls. But what if you want a more unified experience and just have one phone number for your personal and business uh, business phones? Or maybe you're planning to provide business phones to your employees, but you need them to have a single phone number for both Teams and their you know network carrier. With Teams phone mobile subscription, your phone number uh, provided by your carrier can be the same phone number that Teams will use to manage calls. This means that every phone call that you receive on your smartphone will be handled by your uh, phone's operating system, this is iOS or Android, uh, to provide a cohesive unified experience. And to ensure users will experience the best calling experience one can have, Microsoft run uh, rigorous tests on devices such as phones and headsets and any other accessories. Um, there's a Microsoft device certification program that is designed to offer Microsoft customers uh, confidence that third party devices uh, will provide a compatible high quality experience when used with Microsoft Teams. There's a wide portfolio of certified devices from both phones, peripherals to displays, and we ensure that these devices meet high quality um, and reliability to pass through certifications. For example, Team Certified headsets deliver the longstanding benefits of uh, certification, certifications such as great audio and integrated call control, um, there's a Teams button um, on those devices. There's also a premium microphone uh, installed for uh, Open uh, Office. So companies who provide endpoints uh, that align work uh, that align work styles are 68% more likely to report high or increased productivity gain. And so for phone users, you want to match the specific phone and the headset combination that aligns with their work style. Having a great audio experience is table stakes for achieving high productivity. As an authorized uh, poly partner, high performance systems can help your organization in the product pro procurement process and imp implementation at a very competitive and reasonable price. Now let's uh, switch gears and uh, let's actually see these devices and um, this technology, Teams phone technology in action. So let me just share my screen real quick, my, my camera real quick, and let me know Ed when you, when you see it. Okay, it's coming into view. We'll need to publish and your phones are live. OK, so do you see this? OK, do you see the phones, Ed? Yes, I can see. OK, perfect. So what you're seeing here um, are a couple of um, Teams certified phones provided by Poly, right? So these are desk phones, but as you can see, it's more modern than your typical desk phone. It has um, touch screen and it's powered by, by Teams. But uh, just a quick 360 um, tour on the phone. Um, so you have your touch screen right in the front. There you go. So you have your touch screen, your basic call controls are, are on the side as well. Um, you have your speaker here in the front. So just in case you'd like to um, hear somebody or make a call through uh, through the speaker, that would work as well. Your typical um, handset here. On the side, you have a couple of uh, ports. So you have a USB port, you have a USB-C port. Uh, these would be mainly for your um, headsets, right? So some headsets you can connect it uh, wired, but this also supports uh, Bluetooth headsets as well. Okay, and uh, on the back, oops, there you go. Let me just show that real quick. There you go. So on the back you have 
different ports as well. So you have your networking port. This is uh, this supports power over ether Ethernet. So you only have like what you see here. I only have one cable and it's running. It's powering up the whole thing. So it provides the network as well as the the power. Um, if you don't have this, then there is a okay, there is a port for your power supply as well, which is here. Then you have your computer port where you could connect your your device and kind of have that um, cohesive experience uh, between your device and the phone. And then another um, headphone uh, port as well on the other side. So that's uh, this is a CCX Poly uh, 500. So this is one of the most popular desktop phones, uh, desktop phones um, provided by Poly. On the back, as you can see, it's kind of similar, right? So it's essentially similar. It's part of the CCX line of Poly as well. Uh, but as you notice, the uh, the screen is wider, right? And the main difference between this and the uh, the 500 model is that um, when somebody, let's say you're in a meeting. Right, and then somebody uh, shares their shares a, a PowerPoint presentation, for example. You'll be able to actually see that uh, presentation uh, or that slide or that video um, that they shared um, through this screen. So that's um, the key difference between um, these two. All right, so let's actually go back to. To this phone and let's dive in on the team's um, phone interface right so as you can see on the screen it might be blurry now but at least you, you can get an idea of what the buttons are for and what the screen looks like so you have your your call controls here um, on the bottom so you have the call button there you have your contacts uh, people you have your calendar you can access your calendar as well as your voicemail um, you have this section for notifications or any, uh, let's say, notifications, for example, for uh, voicemails, right? So this one right here specifically is for the notification that is showing here is for a voicemail. Um, if there's an upcoming meeting that you have in your calendar, that would also show here. Um, on top is the date and then all the way to the right is your uh, profile and your phone number. So different settings, just similar, very similar to your desktop um, teams. You could also access those similar uh, teams setting within within the the dashboard. So you can change your availability. You can set, uh, set your status uh, message. Um, these all sync to to your information. So that means your if you change your status on on your phone, that would also change your status on your desktop. Um, app right uh some things to highlight in here are some controls that you see on the side i mean you have your volume controls um you have your you have your um, speaker control as well uh, most importantly you have your microsoft teams button here so this is not just a led light it's actually a button so what it does is it brings you back to the the home page which is what you're seeing um right now so whenever you see a device that has this like a telephony device uh, that has this or maybe a headset that has this um icon right here that means it's teams certified so microsoft actually ran uh tests they made sure that the audio cod uh, codex and the video codex that, that that is required to provide a premium and high quality uh, call experience uh, are met right and that's why um that's what that whole uh, Teams certification process um, look like. So, OK, um, enough with the with the dashboard. Let's go ahead and dive in and with the functionalities right of, of, of Teams phone. So of course, first you can start a call, right? So you can start press a uh, call um, from here. Since this is Teams enabled, this is tied up with your Microsoft 365 environment. Um, so whoever uh, is within your company um, should be here. Uh, you'll be able to see your uh, your contacts uh, this way. Or you could uh, you could 
call them through through this but let's say what if they're outside your organization right so you need to call them let's say in an 808 the phone number um that's where team's phone comes in right so from here um as you can see all the way in the corner lower corner right here um there's a start a call button so if i click that that would bring up uh, the dial pad um, and you essentially just type in the phone number so let me just go back real quick and let's click the home button all right so that's calls um there's contacts here as well so if i click people i'll be able to see all the contacts that i have everyone that i added through my team's desktop app would also show here it's so easy to add a contact you just essentially press that um, add a contact button there, which is a plus sign, right? So I can add somebody um, from a directory. Uh, the fact that, again, this is all tied up to your organization, or you can create a new uh, group as well. All right, let's go back home. Um, and then calendar. So what's that's the great thing about these modernized um, phones, right? specifically teams enabled phones um, you could access your your meetings uh, your, your calendar within the phone and you can join them um, as well so if i click calendar you'll see all the events that i have and i can join them if i'd like to okay, okay let's go back home and just finish with the voicemail. So that's our calendar. So we went over the uh, the calls. I mean, how to make a call, um, contacts, how to access contacts, um, and then calendar, right? And then you also have a voicemail. What's great about this is it's a visual voicemail. So if it's enabled uh, within your organization settings, uh, you could also view uh, Teams would also transcribe those um, voicemails for you automatically. Okay, so that's essentially a quick navigation tour of the um, interface of Teams phone. But let's go ahead and try making a call and actually experience, you know, the explore the calling features that we have on, on Teams phone. So um, Ed, why don't you give it a, a shot? Uh, go ahead and call this number for me and let's see how it looks like. Okay, I'll be calling in as Alex in one moment. And yeah, I'm having a doesn't appear to be coming through. Oh, there you go. Okay, there. It goes. All right, perfect. All right, so this is how it looks like um, when somebody calls you, right? So I can accept or decline the call. I could accept by lifting this handset up. All right, so see how it picked up the phone, so you could. You know, accept the call through. Let me just turn the mic off of that one. But notice how I could pick up the phone um, and that answers the call. And you saw buttons there earlier, whether I could accept or decline the call, right? So those are a couple ways to to accept a, accept the call. So um, in this while call, it, I could make a couple of um, actions, right? So if I you have hold, uh, you can control the mic. The, the mic button there, um, there's transfer button on the side, uh, and then there's more controls, right? So th every time you see three dots in Microsoft technologies, there's just more controls. So uh, let's try transferring. So let me click transfer, and we'll, let's see what we have. So notice how these two options came up, right? So the first one, I know it's a bit blurry, but it's saying transfer now. Uh, the second one is consult first. So mainly the difference between the two is if, if I click transfer now, um, that would put uh, the person uh, on hold and then it will show up like your contact list. Like essentially, who are you trying to transfer the call to, uh, the call to right? 
So essentially, you just need to choose that person or type in the, the number, and then it will just transfer it automatically. It's it's a blind transfer. Um, but if I go back to the call, let me play that again. Right, click transfer, tap transfer, and then notice how it says uh, this is consult first. It says consult first. So what it is is um, if I click consult first, it would put the caller on uh, on hold, and then it'll start uh, once you choose a person instead of just blindly transferring that phone call to that person it will first start a call between you uh, and that person that you chose so let's say diego right um alex is still on hold um, if i select diego it will start another call between just me and diego so that way i could consult diego whether you know as far as what the person on the line um you know the, the reason for the call, right? And when Dega is ready, um, I could then transfer the call afterwards. So, you know, that's what consult uh, consult first option uh, mean. Consult then transfer. Okay, let's go back to my call with Alex. That's so. That's your options for tr transfers. Um, let's see what other options that we have. So if I click more, uh, I could turn on live captions. Um, I could go back to the dial pad. I could switch audio route, whether if it's coming through like a Bluetooth headset or your, you know, your headset on the side that's plugged in. Um, and notice how there's a, another option here, which is called park call, right? So, Ed, uh, what are some what are some scenarios that are park call would would work best well a lot of times when a call comes in i know that i'm needing to pass the call off to another associate or colleague but i don't always know who's readily available so if i was to park the call and then uh, locate one of the associates that would be handling the call instead of having to go back take them off hold then go back to my desk to transfer them. I could just tell the associate, oh, there's a code. I'll know the code number when I park the call. It would be a two digit number like 10 or 12. And I would just tell them, you know, you have a call that is parked on code 12. They would go back in and enter in that code and then would automatically transfer over to them at that time. Yeah, that's that sounds perfect. So let's see that in action, right? So while I'm still in the call with Alex, I'll go ahead and click park call. OK, so all the way in the top, um, it actually shows Alex is on the park call and um, to the right, there's a code. So the code is for me, it's a uh, 14. So at this point, what I could do is I could ask Ed um, to pick up the call like Ed. There's a, you know, call in line uh, for you um, the code is number you know 14 so from there uh let's say i'm at i can click calls um new phone call and then all the way on the right hand side you see this um phone with a p icon which is a part uh, call and that would be my option to pick up a call right so i can just type 14 in there then i'll go back to i'll pick up um that part call. So this, uh, you know, again, this is this is a great feature, as Ed had mentioned. Um, so that way, you remove your lesson, remove or lessen that friction between those call transfers by just providing a um, two-digit code to intended um, receiver of that call. Okay, so let me just end that call. So those are key features, right, uh, within the uh, Microsoft Teams phone uh, platform. Right? So typically, you could you could do the typical um, transfers. You can do a blind transfer where you just transfer the call right away to that to that person. Um, you have that option to consult first before you transfer, right? So putting that that caller on hold while you speak with the the um, the other colleague of yours uh, before transferring the call. Right. So what if he what if that person doesn't really need to to take that call and it's just a matter of providing some providing some guidance right to 
to to the color, right? So that's also a benefit benefit of that. All right, so that's pretty much what the uh, what the phone features look like. But I'd also like to show um, like what I mentioned earlier in the slides. Like this is a unified experience between you know, a physical phone um, as well as your smartphone and then your uh, desktop app. Again, it's running on Microsoft Teams, um, which is a really great option, provides a great option for collaboration and communication on a single platform. So let's go ahead and take a look at how um, Teams phone look like on, on, a, on a phone. And then let me know when you see my screen. OK, it's coming up. And the phone actually is visible. OK, do you see the uh, do, do you see my phone now? Yes, I do. OK, yeah, perfect. So let me just switch this. Real quick, let me just access that phone. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, so you should be seeing changes on the phone screen right now, just like I'm using it. And I do. Okay, okay perfect. So as you may be you know, familiar, uh, this is the Microsoft Teams app on your phone. So this phone is running on Android. Um, so you have pretty much everything in here as far as you know, Microsoft Teams feature um, are, but we'll focus on the calls, like the call experience on 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 mobile phones. So um, it's it's really similar as far as like interface is, um, is concerned. Um, you have your uh, the typical buttons that you need to really start start receive a call, um, check your voicemail. Right. So in the upper right section of this this app, there's a there's your voicemail um, mailbox. That's where you can check all your voicemails. If I go back here, I could see my call history. I have my speed dials in here as well. Um, let's go ahead and try and make a call and see how that looks like, right? So similar to what you saw on the Teams, the physical phone, the polyphone, um, you also have that similar dial pad, right? So let's go ahead and try. Um, let's try to make a call. And let's try to call Alex. All right. So, and this is something that you could set up as well. Um, a feature that is built in on Teams phone, and this is what we call delegation, call delegation, right? Um, you could delegate somebody to take calls on behalf of you. So, like how this is set up, um, Megan is is delegated. Um, by Lydia to take calls on behalf of her. So I can either call as myself, uh, Megan, or I could call as um, Lydia. And again, this is optional. Uh, this is a feature that needs to be um, turned on, but just know that this is a feature that is there built in on the on the subscription. So let's just call um, as me. And I'm getting the call coming in from Megan. OK, yeah, perfect. There you go. All right, so we're uh, we're in the call with Alex. So yeah, similar similar features that you similar look that you saw on the team's um, physical phone, uh, the poly, poly phone, similar controls as well. Um, you can mute, unmute. Um, you have your uh, audio uh, mic speaker uh, settings as well. Um, you have that overflow menu where you could access more um, controls such as putting person in hold, um, the transfer that I showed earlier um, as well. If I scroll up, um, there's also that part call option that I demoed earlier. All right, let me just hang up this call. Okay, and the call is ended. OK, yeah, perfect. So and you know, I did that within the Microsoft Teams app that is installed on uh, on my phone. All right, to end this whole demo, let's wrap it up on the um, what the experience looks like. 
on a on your team's desktop app. Let me just switch my screen. Let me know when you start seeing it. I'm seeing your screen coming up. OK, there you go. And it's live. Perfect. So this is probably what what you guys are familiar with, right? So this is the Teams desktop app, and this is where you collaborate um, every day. On the right hand side, on the rail, le oh left uh, left rail, you'll see calls um, button here. So if I click here, this is just going to pull up that again similar um, experience and look. Um, that you saw on a mobile phone as well as the desk phone. You have your dial pad in here. Um, you see right away your part calls if this is enabled. You have forwarding settings um, that you could access as well. You have your call history. Um, you have your speed dials um, on the side and um, you have your access to your contacts as well. So all of these are integrated within the single platform, which is Microsoft Teams. So really that is all you need because this is where you could collaborate with people on a day-to-day -day basis based on you know, various topics um, for your work. Uh, this is where you could chat, do one-on-one -on -one chats. Um, you could access your calendar from here. And then now you can take phone calls as well. Um, using this platform. So really, it's that one-stop shop for collaboration and communication um, features. Okay, so that concludes the demo. Let me just go back to um, the slide real quick. Let me know when you start seeing that. you see my slide? Back yes, up. I do. All right, perfect. So you saw all the features um, and you know things that Microsoft Teams phone could do, but really how much that costs, right, as far as um, pricing wise. So as a summary, we provide the following table to highlight the different Teams phone related license packages and what services they provide. So you have VoIP voice over IP or app to app calling that's available with Teams phone basic. And it's already part of your Microsoft 365 plan that includes Microsoft Teams. So whether you're on business space, uh, business standard or business premium licenses, this is already um, included. But this is only app to app, right? You can't really call to, let's say, a 808 number um with with this subscription um, there's a cloud-based phone system that is available through teams phone standard standalone license or as part of the microsoft teams phone with calling plan bundle both or add-on licenses with microsoft 365 e5 for larger organization um, teams phone standard is included included by by default and microsoft calling plans are also available as a standalone add-on or as part of this the teams phone with calling plan bundle so you can get started with teams phone today for as low as eight dollars per user per month all right let me pass the mic back to you ed for our closing and our our next steps okay Thank you very much, David, for the great insights on what Teams Phones has to offer. That was very informative, and I appreciate your time. The next steps to get started are to go and schedule a consultation with us where we will assess your current solutions productivity and security posture. We will identify and discuss the options you have we will help you implement the solutions you choose and hold your hand while you cross that finish line, which everyone wants to do. You can contact us by scanning the QR code on the right hand side of your screen. Or by using mail, M-A-I-L at HPSI.net, or you can give us a call at 808-947-6117. This contact information is also in the live QA sec portion of the 
presentation. HBSI would like to thank you for your time today, and we look forward to our next meeting. Be sure to review the QA section for additional information, links, and access to this recording. Thank you.